All right, welcome back and thank you so much for staying with us here on the SABC News channel. Now, due to low levels of affordability in the informal market, brands have resorted to smaller packaged units, mostly single-use plastics. Tem uh, Templar Wales is the co-founder of DYDX, a company that specializes in the change and transformation of services and products. Uh, DYDX, together with a retail solution company, Small and Created, um, they, they created an in innovative solution for the informal market providing that cost-effective solution for buying products and thus on the other hand reducing the previous impact of the plastic packaging on our environment the Templar is here it's a bit complicated but he'll simplify it for us uh, to understand a bit better thank you so much for coming through thank you thanks for the opportunity all right so firstly just <coughs> bring us to an understanding about your your work as DYDX so um, we we have three areas of work mm -hmm. one of those is called service design. So we help to develop products and services, uh, as you said, mostly digital or touching on digital. So digital is normally part of our part of our solution. But in this particular case, you see that it's it's a physical device. Yeah. It's a physical dispensing so device that goes into spaza shops at the moment. All right, so um, but it is digital. It's connected to the internet. It's oh. a it's an Internet of Things device. All so right, so even more complicated. Okay, so how how does it work? <laughs> a little a little more complicated yeah. than, than than most people would would like <laughs> to know. Uh, so the way it works is, what what we are trying to solve for is is to actually answer something which would uplift society, up, uplift communities mm -hmm. and the environment. Um, and through a whole lot of research, we looked at a lot of different uh, solutions. And this one seemed to have the, the best solution both for the end customer, for the spaza shop owner and for the brands that got involved as well. So, you know, a, a lot of kind of middle class um, people that are concerned about the environment have the luxury, they have the, the, the ability to spend a bit more and and make themselves feel good mm. about doing good for the environment by you know uh, using buying beans in a little packet in in a small shop in in four ways right but that's not a mass solution that's not really people should do it it's good they should continue doing it but unless the majority of people are doing something it doesn't really have the impact so you have to work at scale yeah. so we needed everybody to be involved to in the solution it. right all right so the dispenser, how, how, how does it work? You say it's connected to the internet? Yes. So, so the dispenser, what it does is, um, like, like you said in your intro, people are buying um, smaller and smaller packets at the end of the month or the end of the week when, mm. when money's tight. So it means that there's more plastic for the amount of product that you're buying. So what this does is it allows two things. It allows the, the customer to buy as little as they need. So if you've got 20 rand at the end of the month, mm and you want to buy half a kilo of rice. In a spaza shop, that's 17 rand. You know, that you got three rand for whatever else you need to do. So this allows you to buy maybe four rand of rice and two rand of sugar and two rand of salt and some cooking oil. So with your 20 rand, you can still buy little bits of all the things you need, right? And you can get through the week with everything that you need. So what this dispenser does is that you, you bring your own cup or container or maybe an old margarine tin yeah. tub and you can then buy as little as you need or as li little as you can afford um, and then it also means that that plastic is not going into the environment afterwards you're reusing a, a margarine tub that you've for something got. else yeah. as well yeah, yeah. Uh, very interesting so let's just talk about uh, the anticipated impact of this is it called the Twalisa dispenser Twalisa, yeah correct yeah. so what are you anticip anticipating uh, in terms of the impact, uh, environmentally speaking? Right. So <coughs> what we're trying to solve for, there's, there's about a million tons of plastic uh, in South Africa being pr produced a year. And we estimate about 250,000 tons of that ends up in the environment, whether that's in rivers and the sea or if that's just in the environment in which people live in. Mm. So, so, you know, again, you look at in, in um, informal uh, settlements, informal townships, informal areas, they're not getting serviced as well as they should be for whatever reason and there is piles and piles of rubbish plastic and that so so not only for the environment but for people's pride and people's um the, the streets that you live in you know cleanliness, you want it, you yeah. want the cleanliness and hygiene mm -hmm. so yeah. we wanted to remove that if we can get 30 percent of the brands to sell 30 percent of their products in this way we estimate that we could remove 30,000 tons of plastic from the environment.
Yeah, which is quite a yeah. huge number. It, it's a big number, and 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 thirty percent is also a big target. It is. Right? It's it not is. an easy thing to achieve. Where are you sitting now? What what? Uh, it's what? just it's, it has literally just been introduced. Yeah. So we we're talking to brands right now. Mm. We've done three levels of testing. So we've we've uh, developed different prototypes, and those have been in the market. Um, and we've learned really valuable lessons out of that. Part of design, uh, service design is to fail fast. And yeah. a lot of companies say that, but we really do it. So we build prototypes, they're hacked together, we put them in sponsor shops, and, we, and they use it. And, y and you always think you've got a bunch of smart people in the room, mm. you go through a process, and, and you come up with a solution that you think is clever. When you stick it into a real environment, it's too complicated. Uh, indeed, indeed. So you, you've spoken to a number of big brands, obviously, as it yeah. is now. How has the response been? Are they, are they interested? Are they likely to buy into this idea? Absolutely. And, it, and there's a huge opportunity, right? Because yeah. it can be food. It can be washing powder. It can be sunlight liquid. So, so we've got some interest from, and they're, they're largely global companies that are in South Africa as well. So we have interest from one of the largest global companies that wants to take it in South Africa as well as in the East. Uh, in terms of washing powder in all the laundromats. So instead of buying little boxes mm. for every every time you go and do your washing, you just arrive there with a cup and you buy it and you do your washing. Interesting. In so fact, it would be interesting to have you back yeah. in a few months' time to Absolutely. actually try yeah. to uh, get a greater understanding as to whether brands are interested, are they buying into this idea. But thank you so much for coming through. Absolute pleasure. Thanks right. for the opportunity. Well, there you have it. Templar Wales is the co-founder of uh, DYDX. It's a company specializing in uh, the change and transformation of services and products. But we're talking to him uh, this afternoon on the Setualisa dispenser uh, aimed at uh, having that impact on the environment. It would be interesting to see how this one pans out uh, going forward. All right, time now for your sport update.